Hello everybody, yes it's Pidia, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. Um, in this special tutorial, we are going to be making a Grow a Garden game. Now this is part one of the series, I know I do so many series, of course, um, but this game is going off right now and I know a lot of people are like wanting to make this game, so I'm going to be doing a kit for you guys. Now, um, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to build it. And just doing the basic things so we're going to be going over um you know the ui and just some little tiny things with the gardens but that's it that's all we're gonna do for this first episode and the kit is in the description but if you're new to my channel feel free to hit that subscribe button you guys it means so much to me and honestly if you watch this video and you get the kit and you don't subscribe i'm gonna be shamed i'm gonna be so shamed um <laughs> but so we're gonna head over to roblox studio so if you guys are in roblox studio like i said all the links are in the description now um, there's two ways you can get this. I will have a model most likely, um, but for now, I do have an uncopy locked game, which you can go right here and download or edit in studio yourself. So if you want to go ahead and get that, feel free to do that. Um, of course, later on, I will have my website with all this kind of stuff, but this is it. This is the game. Um, so I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to show you how to build it from scratch too as well. Um, it's up to you guys what you want to do. But yeah, so we have this little cash leaderboard. We have the garden. Um, you know, it says your garden's on it. And it's your user ID. And then it has just the base stuff and then seeds and then sell. Um, so it's nothing too crazy. It's just some teleport buttons, the little design, and then a little leader stats for cash. But um, when it comes to making this, you can actually just go ahead and make a new base plate and we'll we'll kind of just transfer some stuff over. But it's very simple to do. But when you're if you're new to Roblox Studio, I'm going to teach you guys a few things of course but yeah so you're gonna go to file and you're gonna click new right here now um it, it's like i said if you want to get the kit so if you want to just like have this already completely made for you go just get the kit and start from scratch like this but if you have the model you're probably gonna have to ungroup things so um going into that if i were to have the model which i haven't made it just yet um basically you're going to be putting these things in the correct area right now we just have starter gui server script service replicated storage and then we have um, workspace for plots and shops it's honestly pretty simple stuff um, but one thing i will want to say so we're going to go to game settings okay we're just going to look at a few things in here just in case um, when it comes to your game settings you know make however you want console phone tablet you can do console actually if you want it's up to you um, and then communication whatever you like permissions uh, public when you want to set the game on public we will worry about badges and game passes later. Private servers you can actually turn on too if you want. Honestly, I would turn free. Um, dev products as well. Security wise, I would turn all of these on. Uh, you don't need third party teleports, uh, but I would just do that later. Uh, third party cells can be off as well, but make sure these are all, uh, both of these are on just because of this, uh, you know, when we go to data store and things like that. Um, but we'll, we'll work on this later. And then avatar, set that to R6. I'm pretty positive they do R6 in Girl Garden. I forgot, I don't really play the game which is surprising, you might get mad at me. Um, but yeah, and then you just click save, okay? So you did just get the kit, make sure you just click that publish to Roblox, or publish Roblox as, you can put it under your group or put it under yourself, up to you. Just make sure those game settings are set. And yeah, your game should just look like this in the end. Um, and it's very simple stuff, okay? So Girl Garden has six plots, okay? So we have six plots, um, and in here you have plot uh, one, two, three, four, five, and up to six. In each plot, so let's go with plot one. Um, we just have the fences, uh, player sign, and then we have the soils, and then we have soil rails, um, and then we just have the TP part. Okay, so um, yeah, TP part, pretty simple stuff. Um, shops as well. We just have the shops. You can also mess with the signs if you'd like to like change these text or whatever. Um, but in here, we just have a TB part and that's it for now. Um, we will be adding players and adding like little humanoids and then NPC stuff. That's going to be in another video. But like I said, this game doesn't have any functionality wise rather than just the UI and builds because I wanted to start off with that for some people who may not know, um, about Roblox studio or, you know, might be making their first game. Um, so yeah, so workspace, you're good to close that. We don't need to worry about anything. We have remote events and replicate storage. So this is teleport. Okay. Uh, that's that's what would allow us to um, you know just teleport people to the certain parts um, because we're sending it from the client to the server to play take that player to where they need to be um, so this is later going to have a lot of more events so just uh, don't worry about that for now but server script service is a handler okay so basically when a player joins a game um, we're going to grab the player okay and that's what the game up players added 
we're gonna create a leader stats okay that's gonna be a new folder um and we're gonna name it uh leader stats and then we're gonna set it to the player once we do once we do that we're gonna get a new one called cash we're gonna make an int value and we're gonna set that integer to zero and we're gonna set that to the parent of the leader stats so that's where we got the leader stats of the player and we give him cash you can also rename this as well if you want to rename it something else and we set it to zero, but I mean, if you want, you can put like 100, so they start with 100. Honestly, I recommend that, because that's what happens the first time you join the game. So we'll do 100. Um, and then this is a forward loop. So this is going to basically check if the plots are taken. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention in each plot, there is an attribute that checks if it's taken and a user ID. Um, so that's an attribute. Uh, this is a string attribute, uh, str an integer attribute, and then this is a uh, Boolean. So we're just checking if it's true or false. And um, basically, we're just going to check that. If it's false, it's not taken is, is what it's saying. Um, we're going to go through the plots, see which one's taken. If it's not taken, we're going to set it to true. And we're going to set that attribute of the user ID to the player user ID. Then we're going to say, uh, this is just a print to double check. Um, you don't have to. You can just comment this out if you'd like. Um, but then we have, uh, you know, plot and then wait for child um, player sign. And we're going to go and change the player name to player name stuff garden. Then we are also doing the image label, which in the uh, plot, and we go into the uh, player sign, there should be an image label as well. Um, oh, player sign, main service UI, uh, and then image, image label, where is that at? Oh yeah, this is, this is crazy stuff. Um, that's what's setting the, um, the thing. So we're here, we're just grabbing the user ID, and then do, we're doing a certain it's thumbnail, basically the headshot, and we're putting it to the sign. Um, and then, of course, when they remove, we're going to get rid of that user ID, get rid of the false, make it false again, sorry. And then we get rid of that uh, image label and transparency and all that stuff. And then we re, uh, <coughs> we change that text as well, I think. Yes, we should be doing that. Um, well, I'll double check that later. Um, and then, yeah, right here, game, replicate, search, remote events, teleport, on service events. So then right here, this is where we just, on the server event, we grab the player, their position, and then we set that, uh, we get their humanoid root part and we take them just to that new position, basically. Um, and then that's where we kind of go into the second part, which is the UI. So what I love about uh, Grow a Garden is it's very simple with the UI. Um, we're going to make more when it comes to the shops and all that kind of stuff. So don't worry about that. But for now, we just have the buttons. Um, uh, garden sells uh, seeds, all that kind of stuff. Very simple. Um, and they're just image labels, of course. And then the teleport manager. Okay, so in here... We'll be making the shops later, like I said. Uh, basically grabbing the buttons, player, teleport event. Um, and then if they click the button right here, um, we are going to check if it's garden teleport. If it is, then we are going to send them to the garden with their user ID. And then if it's the seeds teleport, then we're going to tell them to the seeds uh, TP part. And then, of course, if it's not the seeds, which is going to be the buy, then we're going to send them to, or the sell, sorry, the sell. We're going to tell them to the sell. Um so yeah, that's, um, it's honestly very simple programming, but yeah, when it comes to the other stuff, it's going to get a little more complicated. Um, I know I'm going to make a few more fun videos that are coming soon to the channel, but yeah, I just thought I'd go through a little kind of introduction about Grow a Garden and, you know, just, um, do this little kit for you guys for now, because if you want to just go ahead and get started on the game and start programming, go ahead. You should really, you know, just try it and see what you can do. Um, I think I might need to add a programming skip right here that double checks uh that sign so i will probably just yeah i mean like right here you'd want to do play it like this is right here and then equals uh uh you just go right here and then say like empty garden uh just because they are leaving so you're gonna want to set that uh player sign to um empty garden but that should that should work either way let's see Okay, yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I hope you did, um, yeah, I mean, I hope you did kind of just uh, enjoy this tutorial. It's a very simple thing, nothing too crazy. And yeah, we're gonna make more videos. Let me know if you want any more, and um, I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.